some start bench cuts. Right? All right. Yeah. Start let's get bench it. cut. Let me pull let me pull mine up. Let me, let you me start the first one, my guy. Yeah, I'll start the first one. SGA, Bill, and Jalen Brown. Okay. You wanna know the truth? Yeah. Well, yeah. The truth. truth. The truth. All right, what, what are we talking about here? We just talk. Oh, they highest, like, their best seasons, like, their best, like, their highest potential. Like, their, yeah. I mean, oh, I would like, take it. Like, like, how would you take it if you had to start? I, I mean, if I'm, taking it, if I'm taking it, like, for real, for who I want on my team, yeah. it really ain't got nothing to do with skill. Really? I don't want nobody to take it away like that. Because to me, I'm more than likely probably going to start Bradley Bill. I'm going to bench. Oh, well, you go next. Oh, you want to go one for one like that? Yeah, you go next. So I, I got to Oh, should I go who I would start or who I would bench? Yeah, just who you would start. Oh, okay, so who I would start. I mean, yeah, I would have to be Bill. Like, I don't know if that, that makes me biased. I think Bill is the most consistent. Bill. I've, if I've watched so him, I've, I've been on, if anybody's watched Double Take for the past few years, you know I've been on the other side of Bill, but and that, you you know, hate is really love, you know what I mean, at the end yeah. of the day. Because if I got to spew my hate on you, <laughs> because my friend is a fan, of, you know what I'm saying? That means hey, he that you a, ought to be He was a hot topic, him. bro. He's been a hot topic, so, you know. And so, I mean, I would start Bradley Bill. Personally, I think he's versatile. Um, yes. He that's can, good. That's why. That, a shooter but i feel like he's very like he's the one who expanded his game to kind of meet the needs of whatever the needs were for the team in order to win you know it's yeah. just the fact that he played a decent game. so yeah i mean like like you said versatile player right like obviously he's not known for his defensive skills but he's a very athletic player let's not act like he can't play some good defense like he couldn't play defense though whenever you get doubled every time you go down the court you gotta average 30 points to give your team a chance to win like no you can't be the best defender on the court now he's third option now now he has a chance where he doesn't have to exert him over exert himself on offense where he can play defense so i get it like i get it when bill says he wants to be a two-way player people think it's funny but we're gonna see when it comes time i know a lot of people would probably i think a lot of people would go with sga only because of i don't know i think he, I, I think a lot of people think he's it, very good. He's great. He's, he's great. Good. But let's go into the bench. Let's go in the bench one and cut one because this is going to yeah. lead into that. Thanks. Um, for me, I'm going to bench Jalen Brown and I'm going to cut SGA. And I'm, I want to say it in the most sort of way. Because there was just some random stuff outside. I should have my AirPods in. But, um, you good. But, um, SGA has a lot of upside, a lot of upside. But the thing about SGA right now that's just unproven to me is um, him being on a team that can will playoff wins. I probably will get to the second week. I've seen, you know, play enough and compete with high level Eastern Conference teams. Yeah. You know, seeing Bradley so, Hill drop 38 in a game seven against the Boston Celtics where John Wall I've seen, about. I mean, I'm not even going to get into it. I get it personally, but I fuck with John Wall. I hope you get on the team. So I don't even want to take but a shot. But Jalen Brown, Jalen Brown, on the other hand, to me, has always stepped in this role to be. Uh, I mean, he's not Jason Tatum. That's he's not the he's face. Not Tatum. But yeah, he's Jalen. Definitely Jalen Brown, and I think that you know, there's a lot of respect and a lot of. Is this year you're gonna see a lot of it um, being yeah, exposed? Or, player, player of, in NBA history. Yeah, like, he's, a, he's either gonna have a phenomenal season or people are gonna like start to ridicule him a lot more than usual because of the contract. Because you saw what on 2K, they don't got the same guards there around them, the grittiness like yeah. on defense, or it's like or big. So it's like for now, it's really between Jason Tatum and Jalen. We gave y'all both the money. Y'all got to produce. So I would love to bench Jalen Brown a situation because he has more experience in the playoffs and he kind of, to me, that's true. I don't think he's afraid of the moment. I don't think he's afraid of the moment. I just Definitely think not. he has. I think he's, because he's not afraid of the moment, 
he's I don't want to say the word fail, but because he's missed shots or turned the ball over, having the ball in his hands in the moment, people are quick to ridicule him. But I think it takes a lot for them to be that young, compete against LeBron at that level, you know, when they went yeah. to the Eastern Conference. To compete against these other teams, get to the finals. Like, to, for real, for real, if Giannis isn't really there in the East, I mean, we might have a young NBA champion with Jason Tatum and uh, Jalen Brown. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so, going to disagree yeah. with that. Actually, that kind of what you just said kind of made me switch my decision. I was actually going to go with SDA. Uh, Word. But, but, but no, the, no, no. The, no, it, I wanna, I'm, gonna, I'm being thankful. I was going to go with SGA only because of the, the versatility and mm -hmm. somebody like him coming off the That's bench, it. being able to run. run, run He's one of show. one, though. I ain't yeah. gonna lie. He's a one of one. To <laughs> I think, I think one thing, right? SGA coming off the bench makes the bench almost like a starting lineup. I think Jalen Brown coming off the bench actually keeps it. Seem like he, I mean he's like a six man in my opinion. I think it would still be a bench. I don't I don't not to say that you know he's not you know a pull. I feel you or, feel like you could run the offense. You could yeah. you could do a lot of like SGA things. can handle the he can really control it like it's like a starting lineup. Like it's a difference when you have a that's why Warriors are going to be. I mean we I talked about that. Warriors before because Chris Paul coming off the bench as a as a as the like Chris Paul coming off the bench almost makes them have two starting lineups. Exactly, and to me, that's really what a point guard, a backup point guard is the most overlooked position, but I think right. it's kind of like, crucial. It's, it's needed, or whoever dominates the ball, the backup Yeah, they point. need somebody that can come in, let that man rest, and somebody else that can come in and and facilitate and score at will. The SCA does that you see, like, like, to me, a big example to me is like the Lakers, right? And D'Lo is a starting point guard. Yeah. But to me, he's really an off the bench type of player because his scoring yeah. ability, I feel like, go better against bench players, like the yeah, rotational he can control players. The pace a lot better off the bench. That's what it really needs. You need somebody off the bench that can control the pace of the game, which is either like, point guard yeah. or the best ball handler, the best, uh, not ball handler, but the best creator, the best facilitator, the best playmaker, I guess you'd say. Um, the six men though, like you really have an opportunity like to get shots that you want though too. Like it's just like the starters ain't really like it's the ball can flow through. So I feel you on that position. I can right. see, I can see. Yeah, okay. I wouldn't want Jalen Brown handling the duties off the bench <laughs> personally. But uh, but the um the history the, the experience makes a difference. The fact that he's been through everything like he's played the greatest players of all time like he's already played against Giannis in the eastern conference finals uh i don't know if it was multiple times but they played he's played against lebron and he played against lebron in the east right he played against in the conference yep yeah. and he played that's when Tatum had dunked on right 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 exactly LeBron. so he's done that he played against steph in the warriors in the finals yeah i mean like that's some good battles. That's all I'm saying. That's some great That's battles. Some... And he showed up. He was not, he didn't squander it. He didn't look like he wasn't supposed to be there. Like he looked like he was supposed to be there. So out of respect for that, because I'm at a point where, you know, I respect players a little uh, way more than I, I have like, to be talking about the start of Bill though. <laughs> I yeah, want to start with Bill is just, I mean, hey, I mean, it, it, it's each his own. I can't blame you if you, if you pick anybody else. This is three great players, but you know, the respect, out of respect. Most consistent out of all. Bro, you know what I'm saying? Talk. Respect, talk, respect, no respect what. comes into in the play here. Like, you have to give some respect out. Like, you can't act like respect <laughs> can't be a part of the start one bench one cut one. And, and respect <laughs> is gained and earned, right? You don't just get respect off the, off the rip. So, yeah, out of respect, I'm going, you know, Brad start one, Jalen Brown bench, and then SGA cut out of respect. Okay. Yeah, I got one. JB, we're on the, on the line, though. We're on the line. 